Capricorn friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. September 9th to the 22nd, 2019. Just keep in mind, guys, you know, I am reading for a lot of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Definitely, please watch your other signs. I'm using the Arcanium Tarot deck for you guys. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything you guys need to know. I'd love to have you on. follow me on Facebook. I'm there two, three times a week. Today's actually Sunday, and I am going to be there today, Sunday, September 8th. And I am going to be there 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do a lot of cool stuff over there. So I'd love to have you guys there. Capricorn Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. September 9th to the 22nd, 2019. Right, that didn't flip up, but the Three of Cups and the Hangman did. So, you definitely could be waiting on someone. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, them, you. These didn't flip up, so we're not going to look at them. I'm just feeling stuck. In that limbo period, but that's only a temporary energy, so keep that in mind. feel like I'm on Facebook Live because <laughs> sometimes your cards just don't flow even on Facebook it's just crazy right now ten of cups all right with the three of cups definitely emotionally feeling very happy in a good place yeah, there's still that stuck energy there for some of you and I'm going to be honest, honestly, I just feel like now somebody's married, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone's trying to make a decision regarding a three-party situation. the wheel behind the, the Hierophant, sign of Taurus. The moon. So Scorpio, Leo with the world. Well, you really are completing something with the Ten of Cups come falling out too. Four of Cups. Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. Stunning in this deck, isn't she? All passion. Wow. There's your water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Six 
Six of Wands. Your overall energy. Wow. There's your Scorpio. Interesting. The bottom of the deck. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. Which, you know, could be that lack of financial you know, stability, security. I'm also getting you guys moonology. No. I'm used to using the moonology, but I'm using Queen of the Moon Oracle cards for you guys. Absolutely amazing. You guys, we do have a full moon on the 13th. That could be very significant. There is definitely a completion in your life. I could definitely say that. The Ten of Cups falling out. The world is definitely a big completion. And the moon. And you have the full moon on the 13th. And the death card. There's definitely endings and new beginnings here. But you're, some of you are stuck. I see it here. These are only right in the upright. But definitely, um, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. All right. Under the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Oh my God. The Star. <laughs> the Ace of Cups. And then the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Some of you could be experiencing some financial hardship or just not feeling financially secure. Especially in this deck, I do see this as like a down and out, sad type of energy. You know? I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it so you could see all these cards here. Um, you know, just, just not feeling financially secure. But for some of you, you have a wish coming true. You have both wish cards here back to back. For some of you, absolute, absolutely emotional healing is coming in. I definitely see that. And I also feel like if you have been struggling financial... Like financially, you're financially recovering. Recovering. There, there is a lot of financial stability here. The Nine of Pentacles is under this Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of healing energy here, and really, if if you've been struggling financially. You are recovering because something is turning in your favor. And for some of you, it is absolutely a wish come true. New beginnings, change. Guys, never. I can't say never. In the three years I've been on YouTube, you I, this is the second time where I've seen the Nine of Cups and the Star back to back. That, that really is unheard of. And you're starting out with the death card. Change. Endings, new beginnings, big changes coming in. So some of you, sure, we're definitely feeling some hardships. But, guys, that wheel is turning in your favor. If something is ending in your life... Something new is right behind it. It is it is instantly replacing it. Death is also transformation. So if something isn't ending or leaving your life, then something is transforming for the better within your life. And it's never going to be the same as before. Some of you with the Hierophant, it could have something to do... 
you know, legal contractual agreements that's coming to an end. And keep in mind, I pointed this out before we saw what was at the bottom. So you really have the wheel twice. Amazing. Or this situation that you're going through, this big change. And then after this, you have the five of wands. So for those of you that are married in a committed partnership, you guys are probably fighting. Arguing a lot. Fighting over small, petty, insignificant stuff. So it could be, you know, your relationship is going through a big change. It could be for some of you, that this relationship is unfortunately coming to an end. But for others, I do feel like this could be something legal and you've just, you know, you've experienced challenges. You do have two fives here, which, you know, fives represent change, which we see here with the death card. Challenges. Oh, but it could even be time frame for some of you, five days, five weeks, the fifth. Five months, what all this major arcana, and, and I mean both star cards there. But it's coming to an end. And like I said, we have, you know, we have a full moon. And full moons, full moon does represent completion as well. And then here you have the moon. So absolutely something is completing. So if you've had something, let's say, legal going on, that's coming to an end for you. After dealing definitely with some challenges, difficulties... Possibly even some deception for some of you. But again, it's coming to an end. So, you know, the Queen of Wands here. Definitely reading for some Capricorn females, especially you females. that have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sag. Something definitely could be happening around the full moon. And the world represents completion. You successfully making it. Something coming full circle. And you know, you know, for some of you, it could have been something that just was not making you emotionally happy you know you could have felt challenged maybe some of you have been trying to get a new job a promotion even move up within the company that you already work for and you were probably dealing with a lot of competition and you want more for yourself you know this is someone that's emotionally bored not happy this is you wanting more with the hangman falling out, waiting for something better, something more. But you have the world here sitting right next to this Four of Cups. So something definitely can be leaving your life, but it wasn't making you happy anyway. You know, you're emotionally bored. If your relationship is ending, it's because something was lacking with the Five of Pentacles. Something was lacking in that relationship. If it does represent love for, you know, if it does resonate for you in love, I would suggest you getting a private reading, but something 
is leaving your life. And it, it just... It, it wasn't making you happy. And it could have something to do with this Scorpio Cancer Pisces male. And if you're someone that's waiting on a divorce, waiting on something to end, it is absolutely coming, guys. You know, with the moon energy, things are going to feel confusing. Secrets that you don't know about. But I do feel strongly for a lot of you. I can't say a lot of you, but... Something is happening on the full moon. And I said this to another sign. And for the life of me, I just can't be thinking since I laid this card down. That's why, just another reason why I say it's so important to watch your other signs. Because the Six of Wands has been out a lot. Which, victory, success. You successfully making it. Moving forward confidently. It is a card of victory, success. So if you do have something legal going on, there's victory here. You could even be feeling proud of yourself because, you know, I think you weren't happy and you took matters into your own hands. You took steps to do something about it. And now you're starting literally the next cycle, the next chapter of your life. I like it a lot. Wow, Faith. Some of you are definitely losing faith within a situation. Oh my gosh. You know, the Hierophant is all about faith. Staying positive, keeping the faith. Oh my God, there is also a big full moon on this card. There's not on every card. Maybe four in the in the whole in this whole deck. Wow. I just got done saying. Guys, there is definitely something for some of you coming in on the full moon. You're moving towards success, victory. A wish that's absolutely coming in for some of you. Because you were not happy with something. And that's finally, literally, coming to an end. And you're going to get your happy back. Your passion back. I'm telling you, so, something is definitely happening for some of you on the full moon. September 13th. That's important. Oh my God, that's five days from now. Today's the eighth. And you have two fives in this reading. Come on, I can't make this shit up, people. And that literally just hit me. That today's the eighth. And in five days, because you're getting this reading on the eighth, my time, five days from today is full moon day. Leave your comments, guys. What a reading. That's absolutely incredible. I do think some of you, if you're dealing with a straight-up Scorpio, that's coming to an end. Because you're not happy. I even think, I even feel like something is definitely, with, with this Oracle card and that Moon card now, I definitely feel like something big is coming out for you. Secrets. Things you did not know. 
Interesting. All right, guys. Absolutely love you. If you follow me on Facebook, I'll see you there today. I'll see you there Wednesday. Those of you that don't, I'll see you back here soon with your mid-month love readings. Take care.